Hello everybody, my name is Supersplat and welcome to another gaming library video and today is going to be, well this video, I'm recording three in a row now, uh, this video is going to be my Wii library. Um, I'm trying to remember if you could ever buy digital games on the Wii, I'm pretty sure you can. I'm sorry if, I don't know if it's going to pick up or not, between the background music I'll put in post and just me talking, I don't know if you guys can hear the, like, sounds like a bell dingling. It's my dog's tag, and it's hitting his bowl. I just fed him. Um, yeah, we're on Wii today. <laughs> um, I don't have a very big library. I did have some, I had a few more games, but I got rid of them just because I never played them. I figure they're taking up space, but that's basically what I'm doing now anyway. I'm buying games and I'm not playing them. So, yeah. First start off with the game that every Wii owner had. Wii Sports. Yes, I still have it. Just because... It, why not? It's fun. Let's get the other uh, obligatory ones out of the way, I feel like. Uh, the follow-up Wii Sports. Um, Wii Sports Resort, which has, I mean, Wii Sports is just baseball, bowling, boxing, golf, and tennis. Resort had archery, basketball, surfing, fencing, and then golfing again, biking, bowling. I don't know. Twelve more sports, and then the Wii Fit. Yep, I had a Wii Fit because the Wii was kind of uh, a little bit of everything. Let's just say it wasn't like an Xbox One where it's an all-in-one entertainment system. I think that Wii, maybe in my own personal take, I think the Wii tried to do that first, just by making it a uh, make, it, make, it, make it a fun, healthy system. Hey, if you stick to a regimen and do Wii Fit, more power to you. Alright, so let's do now, uh, why this case is so heavy? Because there's the main ones, dear God. Um, so first one would be Super Mario Galaxy. I love this game. I never did 100% it to get Luigi. I just didn't have patience. And then, uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. I think I played this a little bit, um, and it just really kind of bugged me that it didn't have the, I don't want to say open world environment, like open world to it, but like, you know how in this one, like, you can explore the space station and everything, and just kind of pick the conservatories and go from there. Where here, it's kind of laid out like a classic Super Mario, Gal Super Mario game, where it's like, World 1, stage whatever, and that really bugged me. I'll be quite honest, that kind of bugged me, so. I didn't play it very long. Um, still have it. I watched a friend of mine do a Let's Play on both games. Uh, I'll tease it, I'll plug his channel in the playlist somewhere. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Do it in this order. See, so, next one is Brawl. It's the only Smash game I had up at this point. Um, the the Wii was my first Nintendo console, so yeah, Brawl was my first entrance into the Brawl series. Um, the campaign's really good. The sub... I can't remember now what it's called. <laughs> What's it called? The Subspace Emissary? Something like that? I don't remember. Good game, though. I'm sure there's broken characters, but I, I don't know off the top of my head. And, of course, still have Mario Kart Wii. Um, I'm trying to think. I I think I pretty I think I did put in some pretty good hours into it. I really don't remember. 
but yeah, we. And then uh, I mentioned it in my let's play of it, the blob. Uh, so yeah, I mentioned it in my let's play, and I'll put an annotation here again. I don't know where. I think everything's backwards, so maybe this would be where annotations pop up. I don't know. But um, yeah, like I said, somewhere up top. Uh, yeah, the blob. First got it on the Wii. Um, I loved it. And then I know the blob 2 came out and it came out on the Wii, but I never got it. Um, mostly because every time I tried to find it, I couldn't. I don't know why. And then it got re-released on uh, next-gen platforms like the PS4, Xbox, and the Switch. So I'm glad I was able to relive it and I still have the original for the Wii. I think this came out on the Wii first. I don't think it came to PS3 and 360. I don't recall. And then a game that I absolutely love. I don't think a lot of people know about it or have it. Um, Mario Super Sluggers. It's a it's Mario and baseball. It is actually really fun from what I last remember it. No manual. The, this cover is just the baseball. So I gotta see myself in the preview or see something from the preview. Um, it's, a, it's a fun game. I like the like the um, the the idea of it. You know, swinging a Wii remote with a baseball. Yeah, so it, it's a good time. I personally really like it. Um, whether or not they'll do something for it on the Switch, who knows? I kind of doubt it since they've got tennis now for it or whatever. Um, other Wii games I did have, I don't anymore, uh, I had Super Mario Wii Deluxe or something, Whatever, whichever one it was that had the, uh, the red case, that one, um, I had a game called The Conduit, it was a first person shooter that was like space, or alien related, it, um, it had a sequel, which I never got to play. Never got to own it. Um, I had the, uh, I think it was 2008, Super or Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games 2008. That was not great from what I remember. Um, none of those are really great, but of the Olympic Games, so. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and stay tuned with more videos like this and Let's Plays. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Otherwise, thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll get you guys next time.